Now, it was about 5.30 in the morning there in Baghdad when it all started. The uh, bombs started to drop, the cruise missiles. You could hear the explosions. And at that time, NBC's Tom Brokaw was on air with uh, one of the few reporters there right in Baghdad, Peter Arnett. Let's take a listen to how it all unfolded on air. The siren sounding all over Baghdad as of this moment. It's about an hour before dawn here. Sirens sounding, but no sounds of missiles or any aircraft fire. This could be a pre-warning of an attack. No sign of any attack, but it could be a pre-warning. The sirens have now died down. In the Gulf War 12 years ago, there was a similar series of sirens before the actual bombing began. And Peter, what about the conditions on the ground in Baghdad? Uh, were you seeing any uh, overt signs of any aircraft defenses okay, being moved the under? the first anti-aircraft fire I am seeing in the sky now directly in front of me, Tom, and the, and the eastern side of the city, scattered, scattered fire, not very visible, but the first scattered fire. And the city itself, a few police cars zooming through the streets, the lights of the city are still on. Other than that, no activity, but it's really get a sense here of an impending attack. NBC's Tom Brokaw speaking there with uh, Peter Arnett in Baghdad as the bomb started explore exploding, uh, describing the situation there.